All right, is there something in our water? There's been a recent spike in infant deaths in Philadelphia, and there's one expert right now who's saying it is radioactive levels in our water that's to blame for that. Remember the explosion at the Fukushima power plant in March after that earthquake and tsunami? Well, that radiation circled the globe and it came all the way here to Pennsylvania. And about a month after that disaster, radiation levels spiked in our water at three of our Philadelphia facilities. But there could be a bigger problem than just the water. Let's check in right now with Sean Knapp for the very latest on this one. Yeah, Karen, some people might call it a fluke. I actually think it's fascinating in the sense that uh, it's something to think about because it is serious if this proves to be true. A local researcher says radiation from Japan combined with higher levels of iodine the EPA found in Philadelphia's water two months ago may be killing young babies here. We're reporting Joe Mangano's research not to alarm or cause panic, but to inform. It's enough time to suggest, not to conclude yet. It's what the, the real benefit of this, it really is a red flag to be raised for more studies to be done. Still, the numbers are alarming. Number of infant deaths each week in Philadelphia has gone up 48 percent. Joseph Mangano is talking about a significant increase in infant deaths in Philadelphia. We've gone from average of five deaths uh, per week to, to seven and, and a half deaths per week. And what's even more thought-provoking is what he's attributing the deaths to. Japan, there's a meltdown. The huge amounts of radiation comes out of the reactors into the air. It floats across the Pacific Ocean, and within six days, it's here in the United States. Mangano is the executive director of the Radiation and Public Health Project, made up of scientists and health professionals. The great majority of infants who die in the first couple of weeks of life. And yes, you heard him right. He believes radiation traveling from Japan to the U.S. by air we breathe, getting into the rain and our food, enters our bodies. And in this case, Mangano says it's affecting particularly pregnant women without them knowing, until their newborn suddenly dies. It goes through the placenta and into the into the fetus. And we know this, this is not a, a new, something new. We know this from years ago from the uh, atomic bomb test fallout. Where's the proof, you ask? Mangano looked at infant death data from the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Here, it shows an average of five infant deaths a week in the five weeks leading up to the fallout in Japan. Then, for the 10 weeks after Japan, there was an average of 7.5. That's a 48 percent jump. During the same time period, the rate of infant deaths for the whole country jumped just 2.3 percent. So, why the huge disparity? Mangano points to significant rainfall and iodine. The EPA data showed us that the um, levels in drinking water in Philadelphia were the highest in the country. Out of the seven highest uh, readings, five were in Philadelphia. Is this a fluke? Is this just some other reason? Yeah. We'll see. But we can't rule out Japan. It's too, too distinct. So Mangano also looked at numbers for the same time period dating back six years. Karen, they showed a decline in infant deaths up until, as we said, this year. I just find it so scary. I remember when it happened, I didn't even want my kids to play outside. What about women that were pregnant when this happened, who still may be pregnant right now? What can they, is there anything they can do? I mean, what should they know? Yeah, Karen, a great question. Uh, whether a doctor who will subscribe to this theory, it's best to just ask your doctor. Also, we should point out no autopsy information regarding these infant deaths and radiation is available right now. All right. I, you know, I just don't know what to think about. It's such a scary situation. A lot Wash of people what you're going to be asking questions to their doctors. Absolutely. All right. Thanks.